Inside the normal knee joint, there are three surfaces. The articular cartilage of the femur, the tibia, and a shock absorber between the two that is called the meniscus. In a normal, healthy knee, the articular cartilage has a smooth appearance, with no loose or displaced fragments. Arthritis is simply when these surfaces have become worn, no different in principle to the wear on an old car tire. The three surfaces that make up the joint are not visible on an x-ray, but by assessing the size of the gap between the two bones of the knee joint, the femur and tibia, you can begin to see if arthritis is developing as cartilage wears. This x-ray is of a healthy joint, with the arrow pointing to a normal gap between the bones. As the joint begins to wear, you see areas where the cartilage has become thinner, as I demonstrate here with the probe. Loose fragments can be seen here, and these can catch causing pain and discomfort to the patient. The once smooth and polished surface of the articular cartilage is now developing an irregular and roughened appearance, as I show here. On an x-ray, this wear within the knee is reflected by seeing the gap between the bones become narrower, highlighted by the red arrow. If the wear in the joint progresses to become severe, areas of exposed bone will develop. Patients commonly experience pain that can restrict activity. Initially, this may be with sports that put a lot of force through the knee, especially if they involve running or jumping. But as the arthritis progresses, activity levels often reduce, making even walking painful. This x-ray shows that the arthritis is severe and the cartilage is worn away down to bone. No gap now exists between the femur and tibia, highlighted by the arrow. The difference between a normal healthy knee, as I show here, and one with arthritis is very clear and stark. The first line of treatment for patients is often without an operation, reducing the pressure put on the knee with weight loss and avoiding heavy impact is very effective. Improving the muscle strength with a structured physiotherapy program is particularly important. However, for some patients with severe arthritis, consideration for a form of knee replacement may need to be given if all other options fail.